Hey everybody, don't mind my hot mess Wednesday look. Um, Hello episode this morning was possibly not going to record this video, but here I am. I'm going to do it for you guys because you know what? There is some people out there actually enjoy watching my videos and listen to me ramble on. We're going to try to work on that. Um, this morning we've already washed our face with the old Hendrix Truth uh, Clean Foaming Cleanser stuff. I'm really enjoying this stuff. And I've got to rave about this mask. I'm going to go find other... I'm going to find this mask company and get more of their masks. This is a Banana Essence mask. She is supposed to be... Okay, it says it's highly concentrated essence mask. She is formulated with freshly banana extract with which helps to make your skin calm and soft. It does. It does. But the good thing is... Most of these masks come out smelling like either herbal stuff or highly like perfume. This one smells just like bananas. Like bananas. Like seriously. And I didn't have to rinse my face afterwards. The mask actually set on my face. I, it didn't budge until I like yawned. And then of course I had to fix around my mouth. But the rest of the time it stayed attached. But it's... I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but it's that right there. E S F O L I O. And I will be checking the, this brand out and trying more of these because I actually really enjoyed this one. It actually made my skin feel really nice afterwards. And I'm probably got about three more times of using this Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to brighten into puff. It might be puff because it kind of tingles and burns a little bit afterwards. But as for brightening, I don't see it yet. I do take a picture of my skin before I start a new thing. And then I take a picture of after, you know, my last day before I put on the very last drop of it, basically. And then I kind of determine if there was anything noticeable. And I finally finished up the First Aid Beauty's Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum. That's, that's, I like it. It's not bad and it's watery enough that it will last you a while if you get a big bo bottle of it. And today I started off with my belief, Believe in Truth, the True Cream Aqua Balm Increased Hydration Level. I'm a little scared about this one because my dry skin has not been that bad. But my oily skin is still there. I mean, I'm already oiling up. And I'm not sure about how it sets on my neck. Because, you know, most of the time we're looking at our phones or tablets or something. And we've got our head bent. And then it starts feeling kind of ucky and sticky on our neck. So far, this lotion has been the only one I've tried that's done that. I'll give it a few more times of course it's in the container and I do have another serum that I will be showing you probably tomorrow that's already in there today we have stuff to play with and the first things we're gonna play with are oh I found this in my drawer it's the Revlon Photoshop airbrush effect it's in vanilla. We're going to give it a go. Not sure if it's going to match my color or not. And I found this in the back of my drawer and I thought I got rid of it because I was unsure about how to use it properly. Um, I'm probably still not going to use it, but, or at least not use it properly. <laughs> it's the concealer collection that we got, I believe, a boxy charm. You guys remember this, right? I think I swatched a few things on here, maybe. No. No, I didn't. But we're going to try this out today. Just for giggles.
foundation, there's only one problem I'm seeing. It's my own fault somehow. But, uh, I don't know if you probably can't see it, but I have sparkles all over my face. Apparently, even though this was just washed, and it's dirty now because I used it on my foundation, there is a crap ton of sparkles all over this. Fuzzy flying through the sky. Um, this color is pretty much, other than my scar right there, stays red. But it matches. It's just, um, I look like Edward from Twilight. I've got bling bling, I guess. Um, we'll see how this works to the end of the day. This one will definitely be a retry no matter how it fares out at the end of the day because it is not given a fair try. The concealer, um, it is taken up in lines and I just put it on literally, I'd give it about three minutes ago because I did brow my brows and I did powder my whole face because I did use that Aqua Balm stuff and I, I'm afraid that foundations are going to slip and slide on that because I probably shouldn't be using it. But I used the vanilla in here because I wanted it to brighten up my under eyes just a little bit, but um, it's got glitter all over it too. Alright, we'll see how that works. That one might have to be try it again later on on my own without you guys watching maybe depends if I run out of concealers all right moving on we have is a sharpness a bronzer BR looks like this uh, eh, we'll dig in there a little bit it's gonna squatch out like this be beautiful on this drowsy looking day. All right, we also have another Laura Geller blush. This one is in Baked Blush and Brighten Pink Grapefruit. It looks like that. And oh boy, it's got sparkles too. Today's starting off great. I was supposed to do another video, but Apparently, the stuff I was going to review for you guys, I was supposed to put on after I cleansed my face. We got the Ofra Highlighter in Rodea Drive. I remember loving this. It came out with Boxy Charm too. I think it was one of my first highlighters I ever had, and I felt so luxurious. Oh, those are the three colors we're about to be working with on our face. I gotta say, um, this, this little guy packs a punch, and it's a very orangey punch, and a little bit does go a long way with it, so I might hold off and wait until summer to tr retry this bronzer out again when my face has a little bit more of a color. It doesn't get very colored, but it does do a little bit. Uh, same with the Lori Geller Pink Grapefruit Brighten and Blush. It does brighten. It's going to give me a highlight streak clear down here on my apples and my cheeks. I'm going to try that in summertime. Maybe then it'll look appropriate right now. It's too cold to be looking like this. And I'm still in love with the Ofra Highlighter. I'm not in love with the fact that it's still broken from when I got in BoxyCharm where does slide out but you know it is what it is it's still workable I ain't gonna complain I might might keep that out for the season it is now but um 
whatever. I'm like, any other videos? Look past the eyebrows. We're, it's a work in progress. All right, on to the next thing we're going to do. With the eyes, we are using this clean color. And it probably came from Shop Missé or something like that. Oh, how'd that break? It won't broke when I put it in there. Anyways, it comes with a nice mirror. It even has these little sheets telling you what you're supposed to do with your eyes. And see if there's... Probably can't really see it. But anyways... They have two different things, and somehow this one got broke. So we're going to test them out, and that was the side I was going to use that's broke. Go figure. And we also have a Diamond Makeup Santee Eyeliner Pencil. I'm really liking their eyeliner pencils. They even come with a little brush on it. As I go to show it to you. They are a dollar pencil, but there is a, a brush in there. You just, if yours breaks off, you'll have to figure out how to get it out there. Anyways, this one is in number seven natural, I believe. That's the only thing I'm seeing. It looks like that. I'll get my water line. A nice glittery shine because apparently I don't have enough glitter on my face. The glitter wasn't happening when I picked all this out. And going with the glitter effect situation is the Stilla Kitten Karma. Where's it at? Magnificent Metal Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. Didn't have glitter on before. <laughs> apparently, not enough glitter. That's pretty. It's like a rose gold glittery color. Beautiful. And the last thing we're going to be trying on our eyes is the Big Look Waterproof by Pure Argon Oil Mascara. And it's got a pretty little tube where it looks like it has water droplets on it. One was really in there. The one looks like that. Um, I might try this eyeshadow palette out just so I can see what the other side looks like because I did kind of go down with the way it says like I use this as my base because it says it's the base and I did put this like 
as a transition shade right above my crease and then use this as my crease shade so it was actually supposed to go on my lid but it's somewhat on my lid on the ends um did use the highlighter in here and the eyeliner i lined underneath i don't know if it's just because of those colors but i was not thrilled i mean i don't know what do you guys think of the eye look so far um i've got to say i love the stila stuff but I've got so much glitter on my face right now, I don't know what to do with it. So, um, this was alright using just a little wand to put it on there. It's a lot better than the Wet n Wild Cat Suit one. And I did try to do it underneath the eyes. That didn't work out so well for me. It kind of clumped in spots and before I could actually fix it, it already kind of dried and now I can't really get it to do what I want it to. Well, that might have finally happened. There was a big spot right there. Uh, this Santee Diamond Makeup Pencil. No, I think this one's going to go away. The other ones I've tried so far, I think there's only one more in my drawer. But the other ones have been really good. This one just, uh, there's a little bit of a shine, but it's not like it is when you rub it on there. Even doing a few swatches, it's still kind of bright, but there's just really nothing in my waterline. I probably could have just... Yeah, that's probably not going to work with that mascara down there. Now, that's the other thing. The mascara, mascara wasn't too bad. And surprisingly enough, I went out and broke, broke out the old eyelash curlers. I've got like six different pairs and each one of them kind of look different so I went and kind of like matched them up to my eye and see what actually fit and these ones fit the best and they don't pinch my eyes like I literally felt like in the other ones they were ripping eyelashes out and I was just clamping it shut and it was like mm. I'm gonna keep testing these ones out because these ones actually fit my eyes the mascara wasn't too bad. It's a little clumpy, but apparently that's what people like. And that's where I start getting compliments on my eyes in public. Right now it looks horrible, but it is what it is. And the last thing that we have to put on our face, because I already put my setting spray on, which, you know, if I don't show you what I've used or anything, it's down in the description. It's because I've already used it before. And... You've seen how it works out. Um, this one is the NYX Professional Makeup In Your Element. And this is... Do, 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 matte Mauve. These things were big for a while. It's just a nudie lipstick. Figured it'd be alright with what I thought was just going to be glitter eyes. Apparently it's going to be glittery face. And I'm going to wear it for eight hours. I'm going to be here at the house. I always mess up my lips. I don't know what my problem is. I think it's because I still don't have my sight back all the way. But there it is. Um, actually, we're going to block this real quick. I might have put on too much. That's a lot better. I mean, you might not notice it, but I noticed it down here. It looks a lot better. All right, I will see you guys later on tonight with however this worked out. You want close up? Because I imagine I should probably should. Because I don't think I get very close on the camera, but. Gotta do the YouTube turn. Is that good? See you later. And this Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush FX Foundation is actually pretty good. It's a decent color for me. It's not settling in, into any lines. There's no cakey places. 
I'm actually enjoying it. I will continue using it. As for the Measurable Difference Concealer Collection, 16 color per palette situation, I want to play around with that a couple more times since I've never really given it, given it a fair shot until today. These items I will be putting up for summertime. Well, at least two of them. The VR bronzer that I got from Shop Miss A. And the Laura Geller Pink Grapefruit. There's way too much shine and it'd probably look better on a very bronze skin than a very pasty white person like me right now. So I'm going to put those up and we will venture back to those later on. The Ofra highlighter, I'm going to continue using it. It was actually not too bad. It didn't, you know... It wasn't too bad and the lines and creases around my eyes it didn't like make them look worse than usual so that's that's good in my book the mascara i don't know if it's because i did curl my lashes today Cha -ching! did it for the first time Woo -hoo! um but it's actually been a pretty nice mascara it hasn't been flaking off and so i will continue using it the stella magnificent glitter and glow eyeshadow stuff next time i use it which as you're hearing next time i use it i won't try to underline the bottom lash line because i think that's where some of the glitter's coming from but i could be wrong it didn't look like it's doing too much well it got a little bit up there but not a whole lot i'm willing to give it another try because that's an expensive product and you know i at least want to use up that sample and as for the clean color eyeshadow, I, I went back and forth with this. I thought in, earlier, okay, I'll give it a try and use the other side of it, you know, try out this side of it. But then I started thinking, nah, I'm not going to do that again. But you know what? I want to give the other side a try. Can't just get rid of something just because, I don't know. But... I had a little bit of blending issue, but it, it worked out in the end. As for the eyeliner pencil, it is going away. It's going to be trash. It's, it's gone. And the NYX In Your Element lipstick, love it. Gonna keep it. It faded gracefully. It When it faded, it faded the whole lip. In fact, there's still lipstick there. It lasts through a salad, cereal, and pizza. So, I mean, really. If it's getting that far, it still looks good. And that is all I have for you guys tonight. I will see you guys all tomorrow. Bye!